Hey, this is Justin, and this is a small series about common crypto myths. And one of them I wanted to bust is that, is this general idea that cryptocurrencies are anonymous and that um, they support illegal behavior. So not necessarily money laundering directly, but just that it's, it's kind of scary to have illegal actors um, acting in culture. So this is actually true. So it is true to say that cryptocurrencies can be held by anonymous participants, just like cash, and they be, they, it can be transacted just as cash. In fact, that's one of the primary reasons that one would, would want to hold some digital assets. Because if you're in a location in the world where um, you could be compromised or you're worried about a, a, your banks closing down, you're worried about a, a bank run or other other sort of uh, financial risks, you might want to hold some cryptocurrencies just in, just in case something very, very bad happens. But the idea that somebody who holds cryptocurrencies is going to want to transact them and do business with uh, shady characters is really not supported by the way cryptocurrencies are used or by the way the technology is set up. And that's because of the way the transactions infrastructure works. So the way the transactions infrastructure works, and let's just draw something out very, very quickly. Um, imagine that I have this little bit of Bitcoin over here and it's sitting in my wallet here. So let's draw a wallet. A wallet is a square, let's say. So let's draw a square wallet. Okay, and let's make a couple wallets. Okay, so Let's say in this universe that we know that uh, certainly this wallet over here is is bad. It's evil, and it's so evil, in fact, that it's um, that you know it's been flagged. Um, you're not going to want to accept or transfer money to this wallet because as soon as this happens, you now get flagged. So you now um, you're now directly connected forever historically to this wallet. This is the way cryptocurrencies work. This is the way blockchain works. Now, if your identity is ever exposed, you're connected to this wallet in any way, your record is tarnished. You also have regulators trying to figure out who, who are you, why are you connected to this person's wallet? So cryptocurrencies, typically, unless you're using something like Monero, are not really set up for for being illegal or, or, uh, or, or, or associating with sort of shady business people or, or participating in shady deals. The infrastructure is set up to be completely 100% verifiable and tracer, traceable. And the risk is, you know, if you do have this anonymous cash that's connected in some way, so let's say you have sort of a murky gray wallet, the risk that you run is the moment you want to give this money to somebody else down the line, that you actually get denied here. And no one wants that. So if I go to transfer somebody from my transfer some money from my wallet and say I want to transfer to a bank, they might say, "Hey, you're one hop away from a convicted murderer who stole tens of millions of dollars, so you're now under investigation." So no one's going to use cryptocurrency in this way. And this is another myth busted. Most cryptocurrencies, and some of them do have stronger protections for anonymity, but almost all of them have this traceable, traceable character, which again, um, you can have your anonymous cryptocurrency, you can keep your wallets anonymous, but as soon as you start transacting um, with certain institutions, they can go on the blockchain and, and, and investigate and see how far you are from illegal activity. It's another myth busted. All right, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.